going to make a heart healthy, gluten free, low carb dessert and it's called a pavlova. Hi, welcome to Cake Mom. I'm Abby, this is Emery, that's Aaliyah and on this channel I share with you guys some of my favorite tips and techniques as well as recipes to help you with your home baking projects. If you're new or haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that notification bell so that you can see when I post my next video. Today's dessert is actually a meringue based dessert that I tried when I was in England and it is just lovely. It's kid friendly, it's got fruit on top, low fat, absolutely no flour at all so it's naturally gluten free and really low sugar. So, as always, the recipe will be in the description below, but here's everything you will need for the meringue base. Egg whites that are room temperature, raw organic cane sugar, non-GMO cornstarch, salt, white vinegar, and vanilla. Before you get started whipping these egg whites, because anytime you make a meringue, you wanna make sure that no fat touches these egg whites, otherwise it will not fluff up, you'll have a problem. So, first of all, make sure no yolk gets into your egg whites, and this is accomplished by making sure your room, your eggs are room temperature before you try to separate them. It's so much easier. And next, you want to make sure that your mixing bowl and whisk attachment are completely fat free. Because I don't know about you, but I use these to make cakes and frostings which all have butter and delicious fats in them. So what you want to do is take a little bit of white vinegar and wipe everything down really well. So we're going to start with adding the egg whites and the salt to your mixing bowl. It is much easier to do this with a stand mixer with the whisk attachment. You can do it with a hand mixer with a whisk attachment, but don't try it by hand unless you want to take all day. So once you get it fluffy and peaked kind of like that, we're going to start adding the sugar, but what you want to do is sprinkle this in very slowly because it will just break your meringue down. So just sprinkle it in about a teaspoon to a tablespoon at a time. So once you've added all your sugar, you probably will want to beat it for another two-ish minutes just because you want it to get to glossy stiff peaks which is this right here. <laughs> you want it to stand up straight. So next you're going to sift the cornstarch over the top of your meringue and fold it in gently. So now that your meringue is done, go ahead and preheat your oven to 180, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. You want this really low because this is a very low and slow bake. Otherwise, you'll end up with a cracked and dry meringue. Before we get it in the oven, we're going to draw a eight or nine inch circle, depending on how you want this, how big you want this, on a piece of parchment paper. And then we're going to flip it over onto a sheet pan and spread our meringue to fill that circle. So as you can see, I made a slight indent in the center. You don't have to do this, but I like it to hold the whipped cream a little bit better. <laughs> you get a little more space in there. So bake this at 180 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately an hour and a half. And try not to open that oven door. Once your hour and a half is done, turn the oven off. But leave your meringue in for another hour so that it can cool completely. Otherwise, you'll end up with a cracked meringue. At this point, you should have a nice crispy outside and the inside should still be marshmallowy and delicious. And it's just going to be a wonderful dessert when we're done. <laughs> okay, so our pavlova is done. It's out of the oven. It's completely cooled. And now we're going to make the whipped cream filling and then we'll put it all together. So you really only need heavy whipping cream, powdered sugar, and pure vanilla extract for whipped cream and a stand mixer with a whisk attachment. So basically, whip up your heavy whipping cream until it is medium peaks. You don't want it to get too stiff, that is kind of buttery, you don't want that weird mouth feel. And then go ahead and add your powdered sugar to it, 
mix it up, add your vanilla, and then it's done. So as you can see, my pavlova cracked a little bit, but that's okay, we're just gonna hide it with the whipped cream and the fruit. So I've chosen some different berries and actually some nectarines. You could do peaches, you could do pretty much any fruit you'd like. But this is what I had, so that's what I'm gonna use. You're just gonna put it together. You're gonna put whipped cream down and then arrange your fruit however you like and then it's ready to serve and eat and it is just delicious. So, enjoy. my pavlova. Like I said, this is a super healthy summery dessert. Great for kids. Great for anyone, actually, I would say. <laughs> and you can completely customize it with your favorite fruit. So, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, you might also like these healthy blueberry muffins right over here. Go check them out. And if you haven't yet, please give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So that you can see us in the next video. Have a great one.